Hello viewers, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 42 inch Nader brand bottom mounted spinner ceiling fan. Now as per usual, this originated from a local Habitat Restore that I volunteer at. The work entails refurbishing ceiling fans that they receive via donation to ensure that they are more presentable than how they previously came in. Without any further ado, we will get to the demonstration, starting out with this fan's light kit. For anyone who is wondering, the globe of course is not original, and the bulb in there is a 40 watt equivalent globe shaped energy saving compact fluorescent. Those will be discussed further later on in this video. For the fan itself, I will begin with high speed. Taking a look at the black piece of electrical tape attached to one of the fan's blade brackets, I will estimate it spins at approximately 245, possibly 250 RPM. and are certainly one of the speedier 42 inch fans I've worked with recently. Transitioning to medium speed. As you can see, the fan does slow down considerably to roughly 165 to 170 RPM. The noise level will also increase substantially, which although is not terribly audible through the camera's microphone, is rather annoying in person. Finally, the fan at low speed will be showcased, with the light kit running simultaneously.
Despite this fan's lightning fast high speed, low is quite graceful, coasting along at around 55 to 60 RPM. Not quite aesthetic, though pretty to look at nevertheless. Okay, I will now turn everything off. and discuss some general information on this fan. As mentioned prior, the globe you see on here is not original. The van actually uh, did not have a globe upon donation. It was simply globeless. Initially, I wanted to install a schoolhouse style globe on here just due to the um, you know, general style of the fan being a bottom mounted spinner. However, this unfortunately trapped the already high noise level, making the fan almost unusable. Therefore, I decided on an open bottom globe, and while digging through my collection, stumbled upon this vintage one. Although slightly large to the fan, it does look surprisingly decent, especially up close. Unfortunately, the fan's main information sticker was removed at some point during its lifetime. However, the Nader logo is still clearly visible on the switch housing. The original capacitor on the fan was actually causing the motor to spin rather slowly. Being that this is a 42 inch fan, and the values are 1.25 microfarads and 2.25, it's no surprise that this was the case, and therefore I decided to switch it out for a capacitor of higher values. Note that this is certainly not a common or recommended practice in most cases, however given the motor is constructed out of thick metal and it is decently sized. I decided it would not be inappropriate to take this course of action. To conclude this video, I will now touch on some pros and cons regarding this fan, and what I would personally rank it out of 5 stars. Beginning with the pros. Sounds globe. The fan's overall appearance screams late 80s slash early 90s, especially with its vented motor housing, cane blades, and cast blade brackets. Overall, the quality of materials is surprisingly decent for a fan of its type, especially the metal parts. Unfortunately, its excessive noise level is actually quite maddening in person, and renders the fan almost unusable, especially with an enclosed globe. Note that some careful isolation between the blade brackets and motor housing, and also as you might notice, the pull chains and current globe, have helped somewhat, although it is still far from perfect. Overall, I would give this fan a rating of 2.5 out of 5 stars, it certainly does not fail to impress visually, I just wish that performance was far superior. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, I do hope you enjoyed this video, and there will be lots more to come.